And action. Oh, what he has what? We have the coolest job in the world. You should just swing me, yeah. Okay, we can take a subway. We get to do some of the most exciting things that anyone could ever hope to do. The impact of being a part of something so big, it really has shifted my perspective on the world. Let's catch some multiverse, man. The fact that we all really do love each other really does come across. We started the process for the first movie in 2016. So the fact that four years later, we're still doing this, it's really fun to be wrapping it all up. I know you're supposed to do, but sometimes you just want to do the exact opposite just to see what will happen. I've always been a fan of Spider-Man. He's always been my favorite superhero because I think at the end of the day, he is just a kid and he has to live this double life in many ways. I can relate to that. Having started in the industry so early and really just like, I'm just a kid, you know, I'm just figuring it out as I go. Dude, I'm so sorry, are you okay? But also having this other extraordinary, crazy life simultaneously. So I've always connected to Peter Parker in that way. And I think everyone can. With MJ, it's been really fun. From the first movie being this guarded, quiet, mysterious character that we know nothing about, to watching the love story begin with her and Peter at the end of Far From Home, and then now seeing how being with Peter has really opened her up. But he brings out this like hopeful, positive, more gooey side of her. And I think it's really sweet to watch how they bring out these different parts of each other and rely on each other in different ways. Making a movie is a long process in general, so you really hope you're gonna like your castmates. Thankfully, we all do and hang out with each other outside of this. All of us kind of grew up together. I mean, we all met when we were like 19, 20 years old, and now, you know, this year I'll be 25. Whenever you get us back together, we always pick up where we left off. And sometimes it's a nightmare for John because we can be quite hard to control. Because we're just having so much fun. But that comes across on screen, and it adds a level of chemistry that actors just couldn't sort of bring to life. We have these experiences that only we are there for. Yesterday, it's me, Jacob, and Tom. We're sandwiching Tom as we're swinging from a scaffolding. That's Wednesday for us. So it's very special, and I think we're all lucky to be able to be doing it with each other because we all care so much about each other. <laughs> That was pretty cool. I definitely did Yeah, we should. Oh, shit! I mean, this is all happening so fast. You're going to be famous, which means I'm going to be sort of famous. And we're going to be rich, and Emma will finally talk to me. And, oh, is it hot in here? I'm really hot. I was just out of drama school, and I had done nothing. And, you know, Tom and they were well in the industry at that point. I was so nervous because the people my age were already way more successful than I was. And to have them really help me get to where I am was a lot of the reason why I'm here. It's easy to just be dumbfounded by everything. As Ned, you're the Spider-Man from YouTube. It was a lot of being young and innocent and not really knowing where or how life was going to go. He's sort of the fan's window. Can you spit Venom? No. He just represents everyone who would love to be a part of that world. A gang with alien guns run by a guy with wings? Yeah, they have a lair. Badass. Having Toby and Andrew on and getting to know them was one of the highlights of my life. I was absolutely petrified because I didn't know what it was going to be like. And I was really grateful that Zendaya and Jacob were there because they felt like my little team. They were like my hype men on the day. It's such a full circle thing for myself to be in this moment. So, do you have a best friend too? And Ash. Yeah, people just, you know, they call me a young Tom. You? Yeah, me. Keys, phone. I need, I need your car keys. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, yes, sir. Um, it, it's a brand new car, maybe. Please, sir, take it. <laughs> In the first film, we really just made him the stereotypical dick, for lack of a better term. Are you really friends with Peter Parker? And it's fun to continue that now and seeing Flash actually be able to know who Spider-Man is underneath the mask is something I've never read in the comics with the character. And you can read all about our inspiring friendship in my new book, Flashpoint. One heart, two spiders, a million memories. 
backwards. I know. <laughs> It fulfills a childhood dream of mine to be in one of these kind of films, to be able to not only play this part, but be in this set of movies that are so diverse and so relevant to now is extremely important to me. The fact that I was at the homecoming premiere with my six-year-old little brother at that time, and he was able to watch this movie, seeing me on screen, Jacob Batalone on screen, seeing Zendaya on screen, made me so happy and proud of this film to know that we are still doing that three films in. Tom Zendaya and I have been so emotional about the wrapping of this movie because we've been through so much together. And whether it was like traveling to other countries or just hanging out at our house, having them around all the time is what makes me so happy, but also incredibly sad about the movie ending. We talk about it all the time when we're doing stunts together or we're having just such a crazy day. We're like, how cool is it that we get to share this with each other? And we have our memories documented. So it's so special and I feel an incredible amount of gratitude for the whole experience. In that scene at the end of the film, when I say goodbye to Zendaya and Jacob, the three of us were in such a like raw emotional state because we all knew that we were saying goodbye to our characters as we know them. Should we pick this up? That would be wonderful, but they will never be the same again. I remember we were filming it and they were going, cut, right, we got it. And we're like, we haven't got it. You need to go again because we don't want to say goodbye. We don't want this to be over. And I look back on it now as a fond memory but at the time, it really felt like I was saying goodbye to what might be the greatest chapter of my life. I would do anything to go back and relive that day. Yeah. yeah.